a serious question related to statements and arguments if you recall in the critical reasoning we clearly mentioned okay one of the topic is statements and arguments statements and assumptions statements and arguments statements and assumptions is one of the important uh, one question among these two or two questions also sometimes you will find from these two topics one from argument one from assumption as well so first thing to get the clarity in statements and arguments listen in this statements and arguments how you can handle the question is so statement will be a question here in statements and arguments no statement is nothing but some question they will ask some question in the statement right and argument is like reply for that question yes or no arguments will be like yes or it can be no also yeah and here a lot of people have a wrong perception listen a lot of people have a wrong perception here sir yes is the only correct answer no is the only correct answer no sometimes yes also correct no also correct but it depends on the supporting see suppose is reservation for women is required is the question argument 1 yes argument 2 no if this is like this no both are wrong why both are wrong sir yes you have to mention the reason no you have to mention the reason why no then that argument will be strong then you should consider both can be considered is women's reservation is reservation required for women yes if i simply say yes and i don't mention any reason that's a weak argument no okay boys are affected they are getting less jobs from past 10 years we can put some statistic something like and you give the argument argument this is realism that word argument you are arguing no you are arguing yes you don't simply put yes no we need to mention the reason if that reason is valid you mention the reason that should be correct one don't uh, give a reason which is a irrelevant irrelevant or not related that which is wrong thing then that be that sir reason mentioned then is that strong no that reason should be a valid reason the reason should be correct one with your common sense with your uh, knowledge that you should sense is it a correct or a valid reason or invalid is let's say valid reason or invalid reason reason must be there otherwise it's a weak argument don't consider that even though answer yes is there but we need to mention the reason for that the reason should be valid one then consider reason okay but reason if it is irrelevant suppose i am discussing regarding cricket and in that argument they are discussing regarding tennis let's say it's not if suppose that's not related to that then i don't consider it right it should be related it depends on the situation we have to understand let's see this question here they given clearly here they given clearly in the question itself okay you can understand that entire paragraph is only regarding the question yeah they have arg strong arguments weak arguments are there weak arguments may be not be directly related to the question may be of minor imp if you don't know no at least you understand here weak arguments may not be directly related to the question that's what if it is not related to that the argument which you are giving you are giving the reason if it is not related to the question then it's a weak argument or minor importance less importance okay and each question followed by two arguments here okay as we given so we have to decide which is strong or weak right now this is the statement my dear should the institute conduct classes in remote villages that is the statement now you are giving the argument first argument second argument first one argument they said yes this will help those students who belong to villages and cannot visit urban areas for studies it's correct only no reason also here yeah, they given the reason and is that reason correct one or not yes correct one because here yeah, they are in the remote area they may not travel to the urban area and they are missing that knowledge okay if you connect the classes there they will gain yeah, that's correct second thing no this is not economical yeah that is first one is related to the students point of view at the villages point of view now this is related to the institute point of view for the institute point of view no it's not economical 
proposal, viable or not for economical proposal, as number of students who attend such classes cannot contribute to break even. Because when you go to the village, okay, there is less number of people attended also will be less. If you don't get that economy, that's also correct. Here both are correct. See, many people argue, sir, how can for given question yes no both are correct? I said only one thing here, both are fine. Okay, you have to give the reason. That reason should be valid one. Okay, you read the reason, valid only. First one also, yes, you go there to the remote villages so that the villages will gain something. They cannot move to the urban area. Yeah, fine. Because see, if there are suppose 60 students in the village. Moving 60 students from village to urban area or one faculty moving from urban area to village. First one is okay. Sensible. They are gaining something. Second one, Okay, if it is in an uh, urban area, 600 people or 500 people or 200 people may attend. But if it is village, maybe 10 or 20 or 30 may attend in that remote places. So economically, it may not be feasible for them. So both valid only. Both arguments are strong. Yes, um, that's what you can see in assembly discussions also from uh, okay party, uh, the one who is in, uh, right now in the power, the people will give some argument, opposition party will give some argument. So, yeah, sometimes both sides will see it's both are fair enough. Likewise, here also both, yes, yes, no, both are okay. Many people have perceptions, the first one true, then second one wrong, second one true, first one are not like that. Sometimes both wrong also. If I give simply yes, no, both wrong. Both are wrong in the sense, strong and weak here we are discussing about. Argument strong, when it will be strong is, yeah, you mentioned reason, that should be a valid one. Right. If suppose I put here no, uh, and here I mention something not related to this statement, then second one will be removed. The reason should be related to the question, what are they mentioned, and it should be true one, it should not be a false thing. Next question, this is regarding statements and assumption. Statements and assumptions. Statement they given, the next morning I looked down at the city of Shillong from a hilltop and felt that it has to be a foreign land. It was too beautiful to be in India. Okay, so this is what they mentioned. So, so he is staying in Shillong and okay, one day morning he wake up and he said, he is not permanently staying, let's say he is roaming here and there, so that day when he visit that city and morning when he wake up and see, okay, he felt that this is a, not in here, this is in a foreign. Now they are asking, which of the following options, if true, weaks the assumption? In the author, author is giving, what is the assumption while giving that statement, author is saying, what is having, so while giving the statement, author is having something in his mind. Okay, well, that assumption should be weak and if any among these options, if something is true. So, as per that, what, what is the thing here? Arthur was lived in a beautiful city only. If that is the case, okay, too beautiful to be India, foreign land, that will not be comparison. Any city when looked from a hilltop appears beautiful, then why? Okay, there are many hilltops in India. Right, so it's not the thing. So, I think fourth one, if you see now. This is true, fourth one is true, then, okay, what are the author is saying that will be weak. The, he is assuming something while giving that statement. Now, if you see the fourth, fourth one, there are many cities in India which are more beautiful than Shillong. So, as per author point of view, Shillong is very beautiful. Okay, when he wake up morning, he says from the hilltop that his view is good and he is feeling good that it is in India. Okay, so happy to see that it is India, not in foreign land. Okay, it looks like a foreign country. Like so, yeah, means that's a beautiful level, one of the topmost like that as this perception. But here, as per this option, there are many cities like that. Means then you don't feel okay, Shilang, they don't need to mention that. I think among these four things, no, okay. Fourth one, if it is true, then the assumption what the author is doing will be weakened. There are some questions like they'll give some statement which will weak this statement among the options they'll mention like that. So, see, let's say RLS, I'll simply give in, in terms of a mathematical way. Let's say, suppose, suppose author is giving statement like you will learn. Okay, let's say in the basic thing, I'll give you this question. Maybe some people are still not it un understanding. Let's say author is giving a statement, you will earn 
you will earn minimum thousand rupees per day in Shillong. Let's say in this way. I think in numerical, no, everybody will understand a bit better. I'll put this question in this way. This is the statement, my dear. Author is giving a statement. You will earn minimum thousand per day in Shillong City. Okay. Fine. Now, if there is the options, they'll give the question like this. Which among these options are true will weak the given statement or will weaken the author assumption? Then if one of the options, if let us say, okay, Arun is staying in Shillong and he earned 5,000 per day or 500 per day. Then that is the contradictory to the given statement. No, like that, this question also. If for this statement, if I give one of the options like Arun is staying in Shillong and he is earning only and 500 per day, then that will weak the given statement or oppose in the given statement. So like that this question also in similar thing. If it is numerical, you will understand better. That's why I'm converting this question in terms of numerical. Right? So there are many cities which are more beautiful than Shillong. If that is true, then okay, this author perception will be not suitable. So that's what statements and assumptions related question this is. And this is the one thing which will be a bit tricky in this critical reasoning, dear. So critical reasoning, what topics are there? We have syllogism concept. We have seating arrangements. Syllogism, we got the clarity after solving many questions. And we have one more thing related to that is seating arrangements. Okay, four, sometimes four questions minimum. Eight questions or seven questions also possible. Data sufficiency. And this area is the one which is a bit tricky statements and assumptions statements and arguments it seems like everything is okay like that but you need to get clarity while solving more and more questions and see the next one we are entering into that arrangement so i am just again going back and showing you the topics what we mentioned earlier flow chart this is the topics which is required for that second section in accenture fuzzles are seeding or data arrangements blood relations Decision making our eligibility criteria, data sufficiency, flow chart. So these are the topics and previous questions, two questions are related to this stuff. And in previous session, we already done the syllogism, data sufficiency related. Seating arrangements, few questions, we'll see few more. Seating arrangements, few are done, we'll see few more. Now see this question, six persons are sitting around a hexagonal table, P is opposite to you, T is not sitting next to R and S, Q is sitting to the immediate right of you and opposite to R, who is sitting immediate left of P. This is the question, by default we can consider all those people are facing towards center. As not mentioned, we have to know which side these people are facing. Hexagon you can create okay six sides like this. So we can consider they are facing towards the center. All the six people facing towards center. Next, what they given? P is opposite to U. T is not sitting next to. R and S. Q is sitting to the immediate right of you and opposite to R. So we discussed like in seating arrangements, the letter which is more occurred, I think U is occurred twice, R also occurred twice. I am going with U, first I am arranging settling U. P is opposite to U. I will put P here, U here. Your wish you put anywhere but they should be opposite. I take in P and U, P and U are opposite. Okay. Next, the related thing is Q is immediate right of U. I am done with first one P and U. Then we have to search for the related thing. Related to U, there is one more statement. Q is immediate right of U. So Q will be here. And Q is opposite to R also. That unrelated to Q only. Q is opposite to R. So R will be here. Q and R are opposite, P and U are opposite, Q 
is immediate right of you. When you are facing towards the center, your right and left you have to be careful. Right. So next thing is P is not sitting next to R and S. So only two slots T cannot sit here. T will come in this place. T is not next to R. R is already here. T cannot be placed here. Then S will be in this place. Now question is who is immediate left of P? P is facing towards center. Left side T. So option C. And as I mentioned, three different type of platforms so far they are using for Accenture. In metal platform, one question alone, like there is no other dependent questions. In VBOX at least they will give, or maybe if it is CoCubes platform also they will give one data. If you are done with the arrangement, then you will get three to four questions there. But in metal platform, one question, one data only like that. So we are discussing now metal related. You should understand that platforms also. This question is related to metal platform. Accenture only, they will conduct the exam in different platforms. They don't have their own platform. They will take the assistance or help of three other vendors. Okay, one among that is metal. This question also, previous question in metal platform. Four friends and they wear four different type of shirts. Who wear a shirt? A, a colors is what? So four people, four different colors. Right. So first what we have to do, direct data should be mapped. What is given directly? D go with D is green color. So map the D green color. Now remove green. D also closed. Next, how many colors are existing now? Three. They said C don't go with C don't go with red or white means what is available? Hello. First thing, they are given directly D go with green. I am assigning D with green. Done. Next, I am going the three colors are available. C don't want red or white. So, C should go with yellow. So, C out, yellow out. Next, D will go with yellow or red. Yellow already gone. D will go with red only. Then, A must be white. No choice. So, that's what. Question finally, which color A is white? So one question, one minute, yeah, fine. This is not a time taking one. This type of questions you can find in metal. Where for one, there are eight seating arrangement, seven to eight seating arrangement questions. In metal platform, all seven different data, one question related to that. Okay. Next one. Ashish is heavier than Govind. Mohit is lighter than Jack. Pavan is heavier than Jack, but lighter than. Okay. Pavan is heavier than Jack, lighter than Govind. Ashish is heavier than Govind. Mohit is lighter than Jack. So heaviest is. Right, you see that arrangements, you finally get the things. Heaviest is Ashish. Next one. This model, I think we covered in previous one of the exam, it seems. But still waiting for people to respond. Option. A, B, D for Delhi. Okay, fine. So they are asking old medical extracts having green color. Right. So first thing medical extracts required. We know medical extracts here are A, C, B are law reports. Rest are medical extracts. So apart from A, C, B, medical extracts are D, E, F. Right, so I don't want C, I don't want C, I don't want C. So that's it, only one option. 
I'm not done with the full question. Medical extract C is not the medical extract. Where is the data, sir? Here you can find the data. A, C, B related to law report. Rest are medical extracts. So A, B, C not required. Okay, I don't want, I want the option without A, B, C letters. So only option without A, B, C letter is option D, then, E and F. So we are not doing the entire question with that point. In fact, if we do also, we will get the same thing. Right, so see the next one. We are already done with this test. Okay, so we are discussing the questions, the test. Again, see this, this is also individual. One question, one related to that. One to one. No other dependent questions, only one related. So, this is again regarding height, tall, short, like that. B is shorter than D. Money want the tallest one. So, B is not tallest. Clear. D is neither tall. So, D cannot be tallest. It will be A or none of this. I am eliminating option B and C because I want tallest one. They clearly mention B is, sorry, B is shorter than D. Okay. B cannot be the case. As B is shorter than D, B cannot be tallest. So, B is here. I am eliminating this. Why you eliminated this option, sir? D is neither as tall as A. B is not as tall as A means B will be less than A. Likewise, it will come, sir. So, that's out. Now, okay, the thing will be only A or C. We will check that. B is neither tall as A nor C. So, fine. B is shorter than D but taller than C. So, A will be the tallest. D is neither as tall as A nor as short as C. Means D is less than A greater than C. You can understand. D is not as tall as A. Means less than that. And not as short as C. Greater than C. D is more than A. Less than A. More than C. Here D is between A and C only. So if you see finally the tallest one is A only here. A flow chart related question. They are giving three questions in Accenture out of 18 questions. Okay, out of 18, three questions from flow chart. If it is V box, they are giving three, three D questions for decision making which symbol to be used. Step by step process is called as what? They are giving those type of theory questions which we already discussed in previous things. Or else refer your group. We already shared. A, stuff, a few set of questions related to each section that is network security and cloud computing or it may be related to pseudo codes or it may be related to verbal or MS office all those related questions are shared because you should get some clarity to start your preparation whenever you got time right so now see the flow chart related questions so here they are asking which box has highest value at the end of the flow chart. So this is the flow chart they are giving. There are different type of flow charts but this is one among that. I will just try to zoom this. See here they are giving some box number. This is one model deal. This type of flow chart which, which platform sir? This is Coke Cubes or V box. We can find this type of things. But in metal they will give different type of flow chart. Will be discussed. Don't worry. This type of flowcharts you can find in these two platforms that is CoCubes or VBox. Right. So here they have given already box numbers they, and they, what is the value stored in each box and all. First step they given when you start the process add value in box 3 plus box 8. In box 3 what is there? 25. In box 8 5. The result should be stored in Box and box and 20. Now we have to change to 30. Okay. Next step is value in box 2, 40 is less than value in box 5, 30. 40 less than 30. If it is yes, I have to do the X step. This X1 I have to do. If it is no, I am very much happy. All steps are skipped. I have to go for 
Z1 after W I am moving to Z. Now what is here number in box eight? Multiply with number in box four. What is in box eight? Five in box four. Ten. So five into ten, fifty. That should be updated in box three, right? So box three is updated to fifty. Now the questions in general, they are asking three questions, my dear. In co-cubes, the lucky thing is same flow chart. They'll ask three questions. This diagram done now. They'll ask three questions like which box is storing highest value? Which box has highest value? Box ten. Which box has the lowest value at the end of the flow chart? Box eight. What is the difference between box three and box nine at the end of the flow chart? Twenty. Previously it may be five initially, but after all these changes, box three and box ten the difference is twenty. At the end of the flow chart, what number is stored in box three? Like this, they'll ask the questions. Least box, highest box. At the end of the flow chart, difference between so and so, or what is stored in box three like that. Now, first question you saw is which box has the highest value at the end of the question? What's the answer? Box ten. Okay. Now, for the same data, for the same flow chart, the other question is here you see the box one, box ten, six and three. We got box ten. The other question to be addressed is. At the end of the flowchart, box three is storing what? Box three is storing fifty. Five into ten, that's fifty, right? So you can see the options they'll give. Twenty-five, fifty. Twenty-five is the initial one. After doing some change at the end, it will become fifty, right? The other question related to the same thing: difference between box nine and box four. Number in box nine and number in box four. Number in box nine and box four. Now people will feel, sir, box nine is less value, box four is more value. Negative value, no difference should be always positive. You keep in mind, difference should be positive. So box four value more, box nine less, or nine more, four less. Difference should be always positive. Never it is negative. Okay, so what is box nine stored and box four stored? Four is. Nothing but ten. Nine is thirty. Thirty and ten difference is twenty. So that is what your answer is. This should be thirty. This is ten. Difference is nothing but twenty. So flow chart related to co-cubes or V-box platform looks like this. Then what about metal platform model, sir? We'll show. I think with this we are done with that set of questions. Are still, yeah. We we given 25 questions in your exam related to critical reasoning. I hope with this 25 are done. Let me discuss that point related to metal platform. How those flow chart questions will be there. There again the big headache is three questions, three different diagrams, and not like this also. They'll be in a different style. I'll show how it looks. you can check this one sample question related to metal platform okay you can see a big thing okay starting something is initialized then they are giving the input and you can see there are a lot of okay decision making things actually these are the two questions related to the thing, uh, same data okay so for an individual it is given certain amount Right, but here problem you observe there's a lengthy process. Fine, let's start the discussion. Initially loan amount zero, approved amount zero, salary zero, own house is null, working for government null, age is zero. Yes, this is maybe regarding whether loan will be given or not. How much amount? You see, when you let's say after a couple of months you people got a job or maybe next year you people entering to any company. Okay, you must and should minimum work for three months. then only personal loan or anything will be given in any bank if you want to go minimum 3 months you need to work and it depends on your age suppose you are in the age of 25 the house loan given will be different 
when you are get, getting uh, when you enter into age of 35 the loan will be given is less compared to the loan which will be sanctioned at the age of 25 okay because we have less lifetime the amount you can return back to the bank will be bit less okay if there is anything goes wrong you cannot return the amount back it will be because they know human lifetime span is so on so they'll check so when you are beating older and older your rate of interest will be more the loan amount sanction to be will be less so that's what they here they're checking loan amount required how much and amount sanction here you may ask for 1 crore the bank may give approve only for 30 lakhs or 40 lakhs depends on lot of conditions they'll check your age they'll check your salary that's what here salary age whether you have own house or not Okay, you, are, you want loan, but that is for house loan or you want personal loan, they don't know, right? So, they want to check all this, you are working for government or not. If you are working for government, let's say, your salary into 100 times like that, you can expect the loan. But you are working in a private company, the range will be around 30 to 50, 30 to 60. Your salary multiply with 30 to 60, you can expect as a loan. Likewise, they'll have, they have some range of things, right? So, fine. Now, we have to give the input related to loan amount required, your salary, your age, whether you have own house or not, whether you are working for government or not. Right. And then they given working for government, yes or no. Yes, if so. Then we have to check own house is there or not, yes or no. If you don't have own house, even you are working for government, amount approved is salary into 3 times into 60 minus age. 60 minus age because they taken okay human lifespan will be around 60 60 minus your current age if your age is more that value will be less you are multiplying with less value so you will get the approved amount less okay and then no sir i have i am a working employee i have my own house means this case this i can recover easily from you that's why they are giving more amount into five times here into three into five you have your government employee and you have own house. So, risk, risk of the bank is less to record the amounts. They are sanctioning more. No, sir, I don't have own house. I am not a government employee. See, the problem now. You are not a government employee and you don't have house. Directly salary into 60 minus age. No, sir, I have own house. I am not government employee. Salary into two times into 60 minus age. This is the practical thing, dear. Right? But in exam, this question you need to solve in one minute or two minutes. In metal, okay, they will give one diagram like this. Now, see the question below. What is actually given? What is the inputs you have to give? How much loan you want? Age? Whether you have own house or not? Whether you are a government employee or not? So, here they are given. He works for a and he is having own house. Age is given. Salary is given. What is the approved amount? If I am not wrong, 5 into 25. Why 25? 60 minus age into salary. 5. This is what the condition, no? This one. We can check that 5 into salary into 60 minus age. If it is not visible, check the pick what way sent in your group. Okay, so you have to go in. Right. That's one question. Okay, for you, as you worked a lot in this question, I added one more extra question here. A person wishes to avail a loan of rupees 50 lakhs. He works for a Government organization, but don't have own house. Then what is our condition? 3 into 3 into salary into 60 minus age. He draws salary of 60,000 and his age is 20. If he does get a loan, what amount he will get? If he is getting a loan, what amount? If not, by what amount he would be short of the required amount? Yeah, I think he will get a loan, but how much? Would he entitle yes? Sorry, first question is whether he will get a loan of 50 lakhs or not. Okay, it means fine, yes. If he is not getting, how much amount less than the requirement he is getting? His requirement is 
50 sanction may be something the difference between that you have to mention first thing what amount we will get is we know 60,000 into 32 multiplied by 3 if you have if you are a government employee 3 or 5 will come 5 into 5 for own house into 3 for not having own house if you are a government employee no? so this is what the thing so we got 180,000 into 32. I think he is getting the loan now, which is required. I hope it's at 18 into 3 is 54. Okay, 54 lakhs. Greater than 54 lakhs is getting. Greater than 54 lakhs. So, yes, your answer should be yes. There are some companies which are recruiting only using flowcharts. We can see my telegram group, there are people who are texting me, they have a drive in next week, 30th July, and they have only one topic in the recruitment is flowchart. Why flowcharts, sir? See, if you understand this process, any branch student can do the programming better. This flowchart, you understand which way you have to go, which way you have to go, whether it is then if you got that methodology in your mind, how things are flowing, if you understand that flow, then you people can understand the programming easily. That's what their the logic behind that. Only topic in the written test is flowchart. There are complicated questions also. You can see I already did a video done for the session for your first years as well. You can check that flowchart. Typical questions also we discussed. Oh, this is fine though. For this type of questions depends on timing there. There are some companies as I mentioned, five questions from flowchart, one hour time. Analyzing also will take time. But here in Accenture, the game is different. 90 questions, 90 minutes means, means one question, one minute only we need to spend. Okay, this type of question may take more than one minute also. A series flowchart, as mentioned, this type of question you people can expect in metal platform. And they are giving three different flowcharts like this. Different, different values, different, different conditions. So here you have to start the process. They are given price is 50 rupees, cost is 30 rupees. In the sense, you should understand selling price of that object is 50 rupees. You purchase that object for 30 rupees. Let's say it's a pen. You purchase for 30. You want to sell it for 50. Price, selling price actually. It is cost price is 30. Now, enter number of units sold. Only one input you have to give is how many units you sold. Right. Now, if number of units is greater than 100, we have to give 10% discount. You people know when you go to any shop, when you purchase bulk, 100 copies or 100 books are more than that, they will give more discount. Here they said here, when you purchase more than greater than 100, then they are giving 10% discount means charge is 45 rupees only now. Selling price is 50 rupees now. 10 rupees, 10% discount means 50. 10% of 50 is 5. One unit price is 45. You purchased for 30. You are selling for 45. If it is greater than 100, if it is less than or equal to 100, you will give only 5% discount. 10 for 50, 10% 10 is 5, 5% is nothing but 2.5. Then what is your selling is 50 minus 2.5, 47.5 rupees you are selling. In fact, no, to not, uh, some people may not understand what is happening. They given in the flowchart the formula also. Profit is nothing but price minus price into discount minus cost. This is all not required actually. So if it is number of units is 75 here. Number of units is 75. Is it greater than 100? Now if it is, what, what discount should be given? 5% discount should be given. If it is 5% discount, each one will be sold for 40 7.5 you purchased for 30 profit is 17.5 for one piece but how many pieces 75 17.5 into 75 you have to do right so that will be your answer and options here 
given as 1300.5 now listen calculator not allowed calculator not allowed in exam now we can say 17 into 20 itself more than 300 so 187.5 eliminated i hope you understand that why not 180s this is 17.5 into 20 itself 350 into 20 only 350 but this is 187.5 blind wrong and it cannot end with 0 5 into 5 25 ending with 5 not ending with 0 fine now we have two options sir one is ending with 5 right so this is also you can see point both are ending with 5 only now we have to verify is it divided by 25 or not how you are checking this 25 sir what is 75 can write 75 as 25 into 3 can write 75 as 25 into 3 so when a number is multiplied by 75 the final answer should be divided by 25 you recall any number which how can i decide is it divided by 25 or not ending with 25 ending with 50 ending with 75 ending with two zeros last two digits must be 25 50 75 zeros is it or not 25 6 times what 25 into 6 150 last two digits are what 55 0 right so 25 into 9 is 225 last two digits are 25 so last two digits must be 25 50 75 or two zeros because 25 into 8 is 200 two zeros so this is last two digits are what this is 0 5 no last two digits are yes i am not doing the multiplication i am not doing the 17.5 into 75 as it is i am just cross verifying and eliminating when calculator is not allowed. Right. Now, see this other question. Okay, here you start the process, you need to initialize mass, English, Hindi, chemistry, physics as zero. Then we are updating those scores. See, it's almost like you're programming, no? In programming, when you do, when you will initialize the variables, provide the default values to be stored, and then we are giving the inputs. They are giving the inputs now. Then they are calculating the percentage. How to do also they given that. Adding all those. Divide by 500 into 200 that is actually. That is the mistake there. So add all that. Divide by 500 into 100. You will get the percentage. Okay. Then is your percentage greater than 80? Yes. Then grade A greater than 60 and less than 80 right less than or equal to 80 then grade b okay is greater than 60 percent no then it is your, your fail as per this flow chart so you need to give the output finally they given the inputs here the scores are 57 88 69 66 79 Scores are like this. Now we need to calculate the percentage. So adding those divided by 5 into divided by 5 is sufficient. Add all those divided by 5 is sufficient actually as per this process. No? They given the process here. So adding all these divided by 5. So what do you get? Sir, uh, this calculation will take time. Yeah, you can do some tricks like what I'll do. I'll write this as 70 and this one as 65. Or this one 87. I am removing 1 and adding 1 to this so that calculation will be a bit easy. I will write this as 65, this one as 80, minus 1 here plus 1. Now calculation will be a bit easy for me. 70 and 80, 150, 150 and 65 will get 215 and this one, 215 and this 144, right. So 215 and 144 divided by 5, so 215 and 144, 3, 5, 9 divided by 5 will be 72% approximately. 
approximately 70 or 71 point okay to that all those points so 72 so it's greater than 60 you will get grade b so you should print it as a grade b grade a grade b pass fail i think there is one more criteria pass is not there actually maybe there is one more decision making they give pass fail that also may be there i think that's missed here okay there may be one more decision loop i'm thinking about okay uh, greater than 50 something like pass less than 50 fail may, may be one more decision loop otherwise they don't give the option like pass there may be four grade a grade b pass fail like that but this comes under grade b done so like this in metal platform you can expect individually one one question only one diagram one diagram one question in co cubes one diagram three questions in v box all three are theory based questions